U.S. President Donald Trump has extended federal coronavirus guidelines on social distancing until April 30th. Trump's decision came after the death toll in hard-hit New York state passed 1,000. Meanwhile, the global number of confirmed cases has jumped to over 724,000 with over 34,000 deaths. More on that now in this report. The rapid increase in the number of coronavirus cases has put governments in a continuous pressure to contain the disease. The finance minister in the German state of Hesse committed suicide after being deeply worried over the economic impact of COVID-19. Meanwhile, the White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator has urged governors and mayors to prepare for a surge in infection cases. We're asking every single governor and every single mayor to prepare like New York is preparing now. Know where every hospital is, public, private. Know where every one of your surgical centers are. That's where your anesthesia ventilators are. Know how to change those anesthesia ventilators up to supportive ventilators to take care of people. Know where every piece of equipment is in the state. Know how to move that around the state based on need. China's National Health Commission says imported cases in the country are increasing, but the local transmission has been contained. <laughs> As of March 28, the number of current known cases have decreased below 3,000 and the transmission on the Chinese mainland have been basically contained. Under this circumstance, all Chinese regions should continue to focus on guarding against the double risks of sporadic and important infections and work to control the disease in a timely, quick and accurate manner. Spain, one of the hardest hit countries, has received a military plane with shipment of health supplies from the Czech Republic amid the pandemic. 